One quick comment about NEO, and this is about this picture that you see here, which is about NEO power and a map which shows different battery swap stations along in China, around highway express routes. And uh, well, what does it remind you of exactly? It looks a little bit like a um, subway map or a, a train map, right? It, it looks like some sort of high, uh, let's say, high national level infrastructure, actually. And that's kind of sort of the point where I want to go to and what makes NEO special in a way. I mean, yes, battery swapping is very controversial. Lots of people hate it. Others love it. But here's the fact. So NEO is building this infrastructure in China. Tesla is building this infrastructure globally. NEO also has plans to build this infrastructure on a more global level. So NEO is uh, yeah, doing this battery swap and um, uh, power supercharging station, um, a factory in uh, Hungary, where they want to um, actually have a plant um, solely dedicated of producing this sort of infrastructure. And, you know, this is kind of what also differentiates NEO from the rest. And also Tesla from the rest is basically that they have a superior infrastructure in place. Yesterday I just posted this in the case of Tesla. Um, they are the largest charging point operator in Germany, uh, which have, um, yeah, as you can see here, um, 1,600 um, um, stations of charging points uh, with more than 150 kilowatt, I think there should be kilowatt hours, uh, in Germany during June, and that's more than the local competitors here, which are um, yeah more like um, energy providers, ENBW, um, Ionity is the, the network um, that is owned by Audi, um, Volkswagen, in cooperation with some other German companies, and then the rest of them are like like smaller players. But anyways, it sh it, it goes to the fact and shows that how serious Tesla is about this providing this infrastructure overseas. And now back to NEO. In China, they enable their customers to conveniently swap stations and go to a very long distance trip, like all around the country, basically by swapping the battery from time to time. Very convenient. And I think really this is something which will resonate very well in Germany because um, uh, Unfortunately, there's a very large opposition against um, um, electric vehicles, uh, mainly also because of the factor around uh, charging. Maybe people think that charging on a large scale is not possible. They think, you know, like if everyone is like parking their car at, uh, on, on the road, uh, like in cities and, um, you know, have to charge the vehicles, that's not possible. Um, charging at superchargers is taking too long. You know, we have this idea in Germany here, we can go 300 on the Autobahn and um, we are traveling fast and I don't want to stop longer than five minutes. I want to be fast from A to B. And I think this is what, something that uh, NEO can enable as well with their swapping system, with all of the other benefits that NEO is offering in terms of upgradability uh, and, um, you know, other benefits for, for uh, users that are using battery swapping but and the point is here that uh, NEO is different and unique because they are building such infrastructure. I know it's costly, I know it, it has some drawbacks, uh, I know it's hard to scale but there's only Tesla and NEO really doing that. Um, there are others like Xpeng trying to um, build this on top of it, um, trying to innovate also in terms of 800 volt um, charging infrastructure, but we now see NEO doing the same thing, right? Um, actually battery swapping at 800 volt technology, which enables faster charging and things like that. And uh, there are also voices out there like the, this, um, uh, I, I don't know which guy, but from, from Weltmeister Cars, which is also another um, yeah, Chinese brand with a German name, which basically we uh, were saying that, um, you know, uh, we think that the 800 volt technology is like 10 years away really and uh, it's not something going to be uh, fast so the, the fast charging benefits of that might actually be something in the very distant future and it's also costing lots of money of upgrading it and so on so essentially you know if you look at this like from a very very macro scale you see there is a company is doing um, 
huge investments, uh, you know, like uh, providing some benefit for users in the very beginning, maybe making not a buck in the very beginning from it, but ultimately you always know like where there is the infrastructure, people will build on top of it. There will be um, additional effects like maybe just sales, additional sales, like people watching battery swapping and, you know, get excited about it and uh, buying the car because of it. But maybe in the area of battery swapping stations, we also see the additional benefits of like integrating renewables, balancing the grid and yeah, enabling long distance travels. And on a scale that looks very similar to something that usually the state would provide in terms of infrastructure, like a layout for traveling uh, long distances and uh, being able to move mobility, which is essential for people and an economy. So now just a quick reminder here of what NEO is doing as a startup with uh, very limited capabilities if you're comparing it to big players like Volkswagen, uh, which have billions at disposal, or Mercedes, BMW, all of them are not doing it at such a scale, right? So very visible example of um, yeah, battery swapping and the network that NEO is building. Um, cannot be understated how important it is, how, in, how big of a step it is, but also how, in a way, how risky this bet is, because of course it could also go wrong and then there's lots of money invested in there. So that's it. Just quick commentary about this. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and see you in the next one.